This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2023. The surgical management of cervical radiculopathy is commonly achieved through anterior cervical discectomy with fusion or anterior surgery or posterior cervical foraminotomy or posterior surgery. The foraminotomy cost-effectiveness trial, FACET, was designed as a high-quality study to compare the effectiveness of these two surgical techniques, as this was not performed yet. In previous research, the FACET study demonstrated that posterior surgery was no worse compared to anterior surgery regarding clinical outcome at one year after surgery. Spine surgeons, for various reasons, prefer anterior surgery. One of the reasons for this is the belief that patients experience more short-term neck pain following posterior surgery. This, however, has not been supported by studies analyzing the course of neck pain in the first weeks after surgery. To address this gap, researchers from the Netherlands use data from the FACET study to analyze the difference in pain levels between patients undergoing anterior versus posterior surgery over a period of six weeks after surgery. The study included 265 patients with single-level one-sided cervical radiculopathy who were randomly assigned to undergo posterior surgery or anterior surgery. Patients undergoing posterior surgery were found to exhibit slightly higher visual analog scale or VAS scores for neck pain in the first postoperative weeks than those undergoing anterior surgery. However, the outcomes for both groups remained comparable at week 5. Moreover, secondary outcomes such as arm pain, neck disability, treatment satisfaction, hospital length of stay, and quality of life were found to be comparable between the two groups at week 6 after surgery. Regarding short-term neck pain after surgery, the somewhat more neck pain in the first weeks after posterior surgery should be balanced against the benefits of posterior surgery, including no use of implants, fewer vital structures at risk during surgery, and associated cost benefits. In conclusion, slightly more neck pain in the first postoperative weeks was found after posterior surgery. However, patients swiftly improved, and as of week 5, results were similar as with anterior surgery. Physicians and patients should balance neck pain in the first postoperative weeks against the benefits of posterior surgery in the decision-making process, where a careful consideration should be made for each individual patient.